Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see a hydropathy plot. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. Hydropathy plot is a plot that shows the hydrophobicity or polarity of a protein. A line graph that displays the hydropathy index against the position of each amino acid residue of the protein. So that is hydropathy plot and uh, the transmembrane proteins for example glycophorin contains membrane spanning regions. It has alpha helical sequences of uh, 20 to 25 residues that span the thickness of the bi lipid bilayer. Most of the residues of this uh, membrane spanning region are non-polar and almost none of them are charged. The putative membrane spanning region can be identified using this information. And once the amino acid sequence of the membrane protein is known, the number and the transmembrane segments can be inferred from the hydropathy plot. And the hydropathy plot is a method to determine the hydrophobic and hydrophilic regions of the protein sequence. The relative polarity of each amino acid can be determined experimentally by free energy change accompanying the movement of that amino acid side chain from the hydrophobic solvent into water. So this free energy change is expressed as the hydro hydropathy index. Hydropathy plots allow for a visual hydrophobicity over the length of the pe peptide sequence and a hydropathy scale which is based on the hydrophobic and hydrophilic properties of 20 amino acids. A moving window uh, determines the uh, summed hydropathy at each point in the sequence and these sums are then plotted against the respective positions. So the hydropathy at each point in the sequence uh, is plotted in the y-axis and the sums are then plotted uh, in their respective position at the x-coordinate. So such plots are useful in uh, determining the hydrophobic interior portions of the globular, uh, globular proteins as well as uh, determining the membrane spanning regions of the membrane brown proteins. The overall hydrophobic, uh, hydropathy index of uh, the sequence of amino acids is uh, estimated by summing the free energies of transfer for the residues in the sequence. The hydrophobic plot uh, graphically illustrates uh, uh, which areas of the proteins are hydrophilic and uh, which areas are hydrophobic. The proteins that yield most negative readings are not associated with cell membranes because they are not hydrophobic enough to cross the phospholipid bilayer. And such proteins are often uh, soluble and may be found in the cell cytoplasm. So this is a method used to check whether the proteins are present in the uh, present in the phospholipid bilayer. So in order to have a transmembrane uh, domain, a segment of the protein must have a hydropathy reading uh, greater than 1.8, positive 1.8. And this value defines the hydrophobicity that is substantial enough to cross the phospholipid bilayer. So that is all about the hydropathy plot and the hydropathy index. If you are clear with this topic, please press the like button and uh, share with your friends.